Hi family, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're good. I hope you are doing great. So I want to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel. I have 50 subscribers now. <laughs> I'm kidding guys, I am excited about the 50 subscribers because, um, I don't know, actually I'm excited about anyone who clicks on the video and actually watches uh, one of my videos because I feel like at least my efforts didn't go to waste. Um, yeah, so with that being said, family, I thought it's best to celebrate the 50 subscribers to do a get to know me tag. I don't know why I'm doing this, but it sounds like, <laughs> you know, it sounds and seems fun. Um, but yeah, yo, that's so good. Anyway, let's get right into the video with the get to know me tag, okay? Um, so I just got, like I just googled uh, get to know me tag and I got questions so I'll go through the questions mm, the first question where did you grow up I grew up at home I'm kidding I grew up in Guiani um, yeah I grew up in Guiani that's in Limpopo Limpopo we need to teach some of these ministers to say how to say Limpopo. Yep, they're butchering it. But anyway, um, yeah, as as I grew up there, I was a munchkin who grew up there. Where do you currently live? At my house. Okay, currently I live in Pretoria. Um, yeah, let me just leave it there. I, I live in Pretoria. Who is your best, oh, who is your first best friend? My younger sister. I was forced. I was bullied. I'm kidding. Uh, I love her. So, yeah. Um, how tall are you? I'm 163 centimeters, so I'm 1.63 meters. Uh, dogs or cats? I honestly don't care. I don't. I don't like pets. But if I were to choose, though, I think I'd choose a dog because cats freak me out. I don't know. Yeah, cats scare me. Makes it makes especially their eyes like at night. Like yo, that freaks me out. Um. Funniest moment throughout high school. Funniest moment. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, but I think the funniest moment for me was um, when I was in matric. Um, one of my friends. Uh, bought me like a birthday present and they gave it to me just before the bell rang so when the bell rang I was excited about the the, the gift so I went to class screaming like ah! and a couple of my other friends joined me and behind us is the GPT headmaster so she followed us to class and she gave us a talking to I felt like that was funny because I didn't take her seriously um yeah <laughs> so what year were you born hi guys is that any of your business though like where do you want to know I was born that's all that matters okay I'm kidding I was born in 1995 uh, are you in college or have you gone to college Um, I, I think this is an American thing as well uh, like the questions um am i in college or have i gone to college okay i am not in college or university but yes i have gone to university um i've gone to two universities the university of pretoria and the university of south africa okay what is your favorite drink coke 
Okay? And this diet, can we talk about dieting and not drinking soft drinks? Yes, like, you guys are annoying. Oh! Hey, I'm kidding. My favorite drink is Coke, but um, I'm going through rehab. Um, yeah. But it's Coke. What's your spirit animal and why? I don't have a spirit animal. I don't even know what that is. Um, yeah. I don't have a spirit animal. You are wearing, you are wearing perfume. What scent is it? I don't know. It's it's a flower thing. I don't know. But when it comes to perfumes, I always go for a floral type of scent. I don't like musk um, scents. So yeah. Tea or coffee, I, I wouldn't, I really don't care for both. I don't like tea or coffee. But if I had to pick, I'd pick tea because coffee, caffeine gives me heart palpitations. And don't say Coke because Coke doesn't, okay? Um, yeah, so caffeine gives me heart palpitations. So I would pick tea because I do enjoy chamomile tea um, and green tea. So yeah, I'd pick that. What are your life goals? Okay, um, I'll just say maybe two of my life goals. I, I won't mention all of them because I have quite a few. Uh, but the one thing I hope and aspire to be is to be a person that impacts people, um, a mentor. Um, yeah, so basically impacting lives and... Um, I don't know how to put it, but yeah, basically impacting lives in some sort of way. Not to receive praise or, or anything like that, but to know that I've made a difference in someone's life. Um, yeah, and help, like helping an individual become a better version of themselves. I think that's my ultimate life goal. Um, and then the other one would be to, to be a... Um, I don't want to say lecturer, but like some sort of teacher, you know, um, yeah, because I enjoy doing that. I enjoy um, teaching people. Yeah. So um, what sports do you play or have you played? I do not play sports. I don't like sports. I don't watch sports. I, I, I hate sports. Uh, but in, in high school, I swam. I was not part of the swimming team. I just took up swimming <laughs> as an afternoon activity or what do they call them? Extracurricular activities. Yeah. So I took up swimming uh, and basketball. At some point, I even did volleyball. So I did the most, but not that I enjoyed them. I had to do something. And then... Have any books you read changed your life um yeah because most of the books that i read are normally christian fiction um or motivational books like how to be a better leader basically those type of books so yeah they have changed my life and currently i'm reading uh the 5 a.m club I don't know. I forgot who the author is, but yeah, I'm reading that book. Um, what is your favorite movie? Matilda. I still watch Matilda to this day. Like, if I'm bored and there's nothing to do, I'm watching Matilda. Okay. Uh, who are your favorite YouTubers? Um... I watch a lot of YouTube channels and I don't know like they're all my favorite if, if, if it makes sense so yeah the list will be really long because I actually prefer watching YouTube videos um, like your vlogs and all of that as compared to watching TV so it will be hard for me to say who my favorites are because I have 
quite a few uh but yeah and i i i like south african youtubers a lot um yeah i don't want to say i have a favorite or mention a favorite because I, I might forget someone and I'll feel bad afterwards so I'd rather say I love a lot of youtubers um but when it comes to vloggers I normally sway towards family vlogs uh other than just normal vlogs if it makes sense like maybe just uh, like a youtuber or like a couple like most of the youtubers that i watch uh in terms of vlogs are family based yeah because i love kids so i like watching how people are doing this parenting thing you know pick up a thing or two for my future bambinos so yeah uh do you speak any languages and how well I speak Tonga very well. <laughs> yeah, I am Tonga. So I, I speak Tonga very well. I have an A to show for it. I'm kidding, guys. But yeah, I speak Tonga. And English I try. It's not my home language I try. And um, there are other languages that I understand, but I don't necessarily speak them, which is... Peritswana Sutu. I understand them. I comprehend. Uh, but in terms of speaking, I get nervous speaking other people's languages because I don't want to butcher stuff. But I do try. I try. But I can understand. So you cannot be talking about me in those languages because I can hear you. Um, and the other language that I also understand, if it's not too deep, is Zulu. Um, yeah, that's that. Are you single or taken? That's all I'm gonna say. I'm kidding, I am taken. Um, uh, what is your idea of your dream date? Being at home in my pajamas, eating pizza or something. <laughs> I don't, I'm not an outdoorsy person. I prefer being indoors i think that's the reason why even this lockdown i feel like the only part of my life that was affected is the fact that it, like we were cooking every day and running out of ideas in terms of what to cook uh but in terms of um going out nah it didn't affect me sis mm -mm. yeah i prefer being indoors so if the date can be indoors like not in a restaurant like my place where i'm comfortable perfect and i think sometimes it's hard for for my husband because he likes going out sometimes like once in a while and i'm just like nah do we really have to but yeah that would be my perfect dream date like being at home watching a movie at home oh actually no um if we were to go out if we going out it should be to the movies that going out for movies i love that um but obviously if say you're trying to get to know someone movies are not the best idea because you won't be talking you'll be watching so i don't know i don't like eating out i don't know why i don't have a reason i just don't like it uh how long was your longest relationship I don't know I think I was okay with someone other than my husband obviously um I think I was four years or five four or five I don't remember yeah that um, how would you describe your fashion sense what fashion what sense <laughs> I do not have um i like i don't have any fashion sense i guys if i go out and i'm dressed and i have a bra on that should be good enough <laughs> Woo! yeah okay i'm not into fashion or 
yeah, I'm not into fashion, so I don't have any fashion sense. But you could say I'm laid back, simple laid back, black and white vibes. Yeah. Okay. What is your go-to hairstyle? Conros, con to the rose, conros. Or yeah, braids. Yeah. Like braids as in not your box braids and all of that. Like your straight back, straight up type of vibes. Yeah. Um how many siblings do you have? I have two siblings. Uh, two. But technically I have one sibling. If we would yeah, I have one sibling which is my younger sister. But since I am married and uh my husband has a sibling, so I'd say I have two siblings. I I have an older sister and a younger sister, if it makes sense. Because um my husband has an older sister and she's my sibling, okay? So I have two siblings. I felt like I've said siblings a lot. And the lighting. What's happening? Um what is your go-to fast food to order? I have a couple. I don't think I have a go-to. It depends on my mood. Um, oh, my, my my mouth is even watering. Oh, restaurants, we miss you. <laughs> uh, so my go-to would be chicken licken. Okay, I have three go-tos. Chicken licken, McD's, or Roman's pizza. It depends on, on, on my mood. But yeah, those are my top three. Actually, I'm lying. I have top four. KFC also should be up there. So yeah, it's either chicken licken, KFC, uh, McDonald's, or um, Roman's pizza. Do you use PC or Mac? A oh, Mac. Um, I have a PC, but uh, I wouldn't say I have a PC because I actually don't. It does not belong to me. It belongs to the organization that I work for. So I do not have a laptop. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a laptop. So if I... I cannot use my work laptop for like normally with my work laptop and the reason why I think I need a laptop is for academics and I can use my la work laptop for that so we are sorted but if I want to do other things like things for leisure and what so not I use my husband's um, laptop or my younger sister's laptop yeah but I don't own a laptop uh, my laptop broke when I was in honors so 2017 and I never bothered to like buy a laptop because at the time I had an iPad and we had computer labs at Red so I could always use that um yeah and please don't ask me where my iPad is because it goes stolen okay it's, it's gone so I only have my phone <laughs> uh your most memorable vacation memory. Um, um, memorable. Like I'm trying to think about my top, 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 top vacation memory. I think it was when we went on our very first. Was it our first? Guys, I personally, please don't judge me. Going to Kruger National Park. For me, it's not really a vacation because I feel like growing up, I went there a lot. It's the lighting. Yo, I went there a lot. So, um, I wouldn't say it's, it's a vacation. I don't know. I don't want to sound snobbish or anything, but I feel like because I, like your Kruger is basically my second home. Um, I think it's also because we have... A family member who's a vet there so would visit them so yeah I wouldn't say Kruger is, is really a family vacation unless you're going to a different part of Kruger not not Kruger National Park like maybe your Skukuza like maybe Kruger that part Yampu Malanga and stuff yeah 
then it's fine. But if it's that part, Yabo Punda Maria Palabra Gates, those sides, I that's where I grew up with the lions. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't grow up with the lions, but like Kruger for me is not really a vacation. Um, so I would say the first vacation we went to as a family of four with my younger sister, which was Mpumalanga, and we stayed at Sabi River Sun. So yeah, that was memorable for me because that's where I learned how to swim and I fell in love with water. Actually, I'm lying. It was when we went to Ayland. Is it still a, a um a resort? But there's a there's a resort called Ayland Resorts. It's um it's between Sanin and Palabra. I, I don't know, but like it's somewhere that side. Yes, that was the first 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 family vacation as a family of four, and we went there to celebrate my birthday. And I fell in love with the water, guys. Like, the entire time I was there, I was in the pool. And actually, a week after we got back, I had a really bad cold. Like, I had a really bad flu. I know there's a difference between flu and cold, but I'm not a doctor. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love recording videos. Um. So, yeah. What are your morning and evening routine? So morning routine, pray, evening routine, pray. And um, in the morning, because normally we're going to work. Oh, um, yeah, the activities that you need to do. Um, I really take care of my face in terms of, but like during this lockdown, I wasn't really taking care of my face. Uh, but yeah, I make sure that I tone, I... Um, moisturize sunscreen and all of that nice stuff i make my bed i never leave the house without making my bed that's very important because i feel like when your bed is made your day will be great <laughs> so um yeah and then evening routine uh normally it's like having uh, devotion or Bible study and um, showering then going to bed yeah and then if I don't because I'm like I'm not a morning person I'm actually more productive at night so sometimes in the evening I do catch up on work and stuff and um, and snack sometimes um Do you have any bad habits? Yes, I do. That's what the question asked. Do you want to know what it was? Okay, so my bad habit, um, which my husband hates, is that I'm that type of person where I'm a messy person. I feel like I have a cluttered brain. I cannot work at a, like in a place where it's organized or packed or all of that like there has to be clutter in order for me to be productive so say i'm studying there'll just be a lot of stuff around me papers books and everything else and i know where everything is don't come for me and that's how i do almost everything it has to be a mess first and then i just make it look pretty afterwards i don't know if it makes sense like my type of like i just have a cluttered brain that's what i always say i just like it doesn't make sense to anyone and the other thing that i normally do is that if i eat something that has a wrapper say a sweet or something normally after eating it i don't necessarily throw it in the bin right away and my husband hates that i normally just chill there with the wrap until uh such a time where i stand up and go to the kitchen then i'll throw it away but yeah um so those are my bad habits. I don't know what else is my. I'm trying to think about my bad habits. Yeah, those are the only ones I can think about right now. Um, tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know.
I don't know. <laughs> um, I think the one thing that um, maybe some people wouldn't know about me is that um, I wouldn't say I'm short tempered, but I snap. Because uh, English is not my home language. Let me say it in song and a career. Yeah, so I think that's the one thing that people don't know about me. And it's mostly because I don't react like that during the people. <laughs> uh, it's normally uh, on a one on one basis and with normally with my husband or my younger sister. And it's because both of them, ne? you'll tell them one thing 5,000 times, and I hate that. I want to tell you something once and you do it or else I'll do it myself <laughs> but yeah it's that I snap but I'm working on it I'm working on my attitude okay because I I know that can impact people negatively so I am working on that so now I try by all means to keep calm and repeat myself so yeah actually that's the end of the um, get to know me tag I hope you know a little about me but um because the tech didn't even ask this i thought it's important to say my name is Nshalala mabasa i am 25 years old uh my birthday is on the 3rd of february i felt like that was very important but with the year i was born i remember i answered a question about that so yeah with that being said don't forget don't forget ne and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend ne? to come and visit the Lhalala Mab channel. Okay? Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and I will see you in my next video. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, I feel like you already know. Let's see. If attitude is and my girl is in a good mood. You know, she'll be recording videos for you guys and she'll be doing the most. And I like it. <laughs> anyway, uh, with that being said, family, may peace, love, and grace be unto you. Bye. 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 Bye.